Hey everybody, welcome back to IGN Summer of Gaming. I'm Bo Moore and I'm joined once again by Jason Ronald, one of the lead engineers for the Xbox Series X. Jason, thanks again for joining me. Hey Bo, it's great to be back with you again. So this week we are talking about optimized for Xbox Series X. Uh, Jason, just give me a rundown. What exactly does that mean? Sure. So in its simplest form, uh, optimized for Xbox Series X means that a developer has actually designed and built a title to take full advantage of all the power and the capability that we've delivered with Xbox Series X. And we really think about it in two categories of content. First is games that are natively designed and built for Xbox Series X. These are games that are coming to the platform, games like Halo Infinite or Assassin's Creed Valhalla, or even games that are exclusive to creation, such as The Medium or Scorn. And then we also have a series of titles that are actually going back and reopening the game to enhance the game for next generation, such as Gears 5 or Destiny 2, where they're actually going back and doing dedicated engineering work to really tailor the game for the Xbox Series X. For those two examples that you gave, is there really any difference between the games that are built natively for Series X versus those ones that have gone back in and re-optimized? You know, not really. I mean, ultimately what it comes down to is how do developers want to take full advantage of the power of Xbox Series X? And for games that were really designed to push those next generation boundaries, a lot of times they make different design decisions or different content decisions to really make sure they're taking full advantage of that. Whereas for titles that have already previously been released on say Xbox One, they're really looking at opt optimization opportunities as, abo as opposed to going back and rebuilding the game from scratch. Really just break down for me what it means to be optimized for Series X. What's the main difference between playing a game that has that optimized for Series X tag versus one that doesn't? That's a great question. When we, when we really think about uh, what it means to be optimized for Xbox Series X, we put it in three buckets. So first is titles that are really pushing the visual fidelity further than you've ever seen before. So this might be higher resolution games. This might be more dynamic living worlds, you know, much more vibrant. They might take advantage of something like DirectX ray tracing or one of the many features that are part of DirectX 12 Ultimate, like variable rate shading and mesh shaders to really push that visual quality bar. The next area is on frame rate. Uh, you know, frame rate is a big thing with this next generation. So some titles will choose to move from, say, 30 frames a second to 60 frames a second. Or maybe they'll even push beyond 60 frames a second and use things like variable refresh rate or be able to go all the way up to 120 frames a second. It's really about providing that ultra uh, high frame rate, low latency experience that players expect. And then the last area is really leaning into the Xbox Velocity architecture and what that can really take advantage. You know, everything from minimizing load times to being able to actually have much richer, more dynamic, larger open world games. These are all different opportunities that developers can choose from, but it's ultimately up to the developer to really customize and tailor their game to what their players expect. So for all of these different things that you just laid out, is there any sort of actual like feature checklist that a game has to meet in order to be considered optimized for Series X? We don't dictate game design. Uh, we're really about enabling developers and really empowering them to deliver on their creative vision. So as long as they're designing the game and building the game on the uh, Xbox Series X development platform and really tailoring it to take full advantage of it, we really give the flexibility and the creativity to our partners to really build the best game possible for players. So when you say the Series X is capable of up to 120 FPS, uh, will that be something that we can expect at 4K resolution? So we are up to 120 frames a second with 4K. Some developers will choose to use techniques like dynamic resolution scaling because they want to maintain that rock solid frame rate and they'll pr prioritize frame rate over resolution. There's other games that will absolutely deliver 4K at 120 frames a second. So it's really, in, it's about the flexibility and the capability that we put in developers' hands. Just like today, you have some games that say, maybe have a performance mode and a visual or an image quality mode. Some titles will choose to do that as well. So it's really about that flexibility from a developer's perspective. So for the games, uh, for the developers that are going back to update their games, what kind of development work really goes into taking a current gen title and giving it that extra bit of polish to make it a an optimized for series x game 
We really designed this to be as easy as possible for developers. And if you look at some of the things that we shared earlier this uh, year, you know, when we worked with the coalition, as an example, it took them about two weeks to get their existing Gears 5 game up and running on Xbox Series X. And with all the extra power that was available to them, it was very easy for them to start enabling a bunch of features that either they had prototyped initially or maybe that were only possible on the PC. And then it's really about really how do I squeeze as much performance out of the platform as possible? Or what are the opportunities that I really want to go uh, dive in on? Uh, and so far, what we've seen so far from all our partners building games on Xbox Series X, we're really excited by the early results that they're already seeing. And it's really exciting to see how far they're going to be able to push the envelope uh, from what you've seen in traditional games. So is Optimize for Series X something that we can expect to see on every single first party Xbox game going forward? So as we've said, like all of the Xbox Game Studios games moving forward will uh, work both on Xbox One as well as Xbox Series X. And our first party studios are absolutely pushing the boundaries. And there's some exciting opportunities with, for example, previous games that have already been released like Gears 5, which we talked about. But I'm really excited when we can start showing some of the things that are happening with Halo Infinite, where they've really designed the game with a lot of the capabilities with Xbox Series X in mind. And we're excited to share more of that uh, later this year. Cool. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Jason. And uh, for more Xbox Series X, keep it right here on IGN. We're happy to present IGN's Summer of Gaming, featuring the latest and greatest in game reveals, news, trailers, next-gen coverage, and more. Our month-long event features our first-ever series of IGN Expos, where you'll get first looks at world premiere game trailers, exclusive game demos, and interviews you won't find anywhere else. IGN's Summer of Gaming, only on IGN and IGN One on Samsung TV+.